started with the new quiz maker templates inside of Articulate Presenter 2013. So if you hover over activities, come down to Quiz Maker 13, you can then see all the different templates that are available and there will be more and more added on later. Now right now we have two different types of quiz templates. We have a themed quiz uh, template and we also have just uh, one-off uh, different types of quiz templates that you can do as well. Let's go ahead and start with one of those. If I click on one of those, I can see the exact, um, you know, exactly what it's going to look like, exactly how the learner is going to interact with it, um, and I can drag and drop it, test it out, make sure that's the one I want, and then go ahead and click on download, and that will download the quiz template. So if I now come into Quiz Maker, I can hit Browse, and then I can actually select a Quiz uh, from Quiz Template and that will uh, allow me to navigate to that quiz template so I'm just going to go ahead and go to my desktop that I downloaded it to and select that quiz template and now I can use that template to start building out my quiz I can come into the uh, quiz group here and if I wanted to right click and click on duplicate question and this will allow me to have as many different types of questions based off that template as I want so if I come into one of those templates all I have to do is hit double click and uh, I can also add on other types of questions if I wanted to. But let's go into this first one. And you'll notice that we have a couple different layers on my timeline. I don't have to worry about that as far as the timeline goes. I can just come in here and start updating my text. So I can update the title. I can update uh, the labels on each of these tabs. I can update what the uh, drop zone says. I can replace this, uh, this part with an image or some text and uh, then I can come into form view if I click on form view and I can say okay first tab no longer goes to droppable one it actually goes to droppable two which down at the bottom right hand side will let me know visually what droppable two is and so I know exactly what's going to what it allows me to select a couple different options if I want to allow more than one option in one drop zone I can go ahead and select that uh, whatever I wanted to do here whatever you can do in quiz maker now you can come into the slide view and then you can delete different parts so if you're only going to have two tabs you can go ahead and just delete let's say the third tab there the third tab description and third tab drop zone and now I can come over and start moving uh, let's select all three of these and then we can move those and kind of position them a little bit different and now I have a two tab interaction if I wanted four tabs, then I could just visually just copy and paste one of them and visually update that as well. Now, if I save this, I can now import it. Let's go ahead and just name this uh, quiz sample. And if I uh, name that quiz sample, I can now come into uh, Articulate Presenter 2013. And then I can import that inside of here. So if I come to the Articulate tab, I can click on Quizmaker Quiz. Let's go ahead and save this project. And now let's go ahead and click on Create New. Or actually, we would want to do Add Existing, so let me hit Cancel. So Quizmaker Quiz, Add Existing. Come to my desktop. So there's my quiz sample. And there we go, it's going to import my QuizMaker files into my project. I can then come back into QuizMaker itself. I can even publish just the quiz out if I wanted to straight from QuizMaker. Um, or I can just bring them inside of, uh, inside of Presenter and uh, wrap everything else with Engage and everything inside of there. But that's how you get started with just the normal ones. Now you do the same thing with the, um, with the themed ones. So let's go ahead, I'm going to close out Presenter here. And I'm actually going to close out this sample one. And let's download a themed one, which is one of our game style ones. So I'm going to come to the shootout, and I'm going to download the shootout one. Now I'm going to come into Browse, download the shootout. And you can see with the shootout one, we have different types of quiz questions. So it's not just the drag and drop. We do have a drag and drop here, and we do have text entry, hotspot, and pick mini. Now the idea with these is you can start duplicating as many slides as you want. So if you want all multiple choice, then you can just delete the hotspot, text entry, and drag and drop. 
if you want uh, one or a couple of each of them then you can just duplicate the ones that you want so let's say you want a two pick mini you can rearrange it however you want uh, let's say if you want a two drag and drop you can duplicate that and rearrange that however you want as well and then just come into the question that you want to edit now I can come in here and select whatever I think is the going to be the possible answers um, update that text here I can come in and update the question text here as well um, update the um, the different instructions after they've read the quiz on what they should do come into the instructions tab update the instructions here however I want and then um, come into the different types of questions so I can go into the drag and drop question I can come into the hotspot question and replace this image in the background uh, insert my own image by coming to the insert tab clicking on picture and inserting whatever image I want rearranging my hotspots to be whatever uh, uh, whatever parts of that image I want come into my text entry and uh, select my text entry and uh, update the text there I can come into form view select which one of these options whether it just be one or whether it be many um, that I want to have and then I can add more if I wanted to copy let's come into the slide view I can just copy and paste this and uh, also add this as part of the answer so if I wanted to select the drop down box I can select D I might want to change that but D1 and I can have more than four options as for with the multiple choice or I can deselect or delete some of them so if I wanted to delete that one you may get the warning that it's part of the interaction just click yes and now if I come to forum view now I only have three options selected and I can just come in and select which one of those are correct there coming back into slide view I can now also update the feedback so if I come into the correct layer feedback I can come down to the feedback and change whatever feedback I want for correct and then I can see the animation that's going to play so there's a little animation down here the ball kick animation uh, that's going to play on each of the correct and incorrect layers and you can uh, update the feedback on the layer basis or if you're in the form view you can actually update what the text says down here as well and you can do the same thing with the hotspot so if I come into the hotspot I can change whatever I want, I can change the correct, the incorrect feedback, I can change the question, go into form view and I can add on more hotspots as well by clicking on hotspot, changing freeform, oval, choosing a certain image to swap out the image, uh, if I wanted to use another type of image, uh, pick one, There's a, we've already done that one, but text entry you can add the um, acceptable answers in the form view, uh, whatever you're going to accept for the correct answer and then drag and drop you can uh, go through and select which one will be um, which one is correct in this case I have four different items so all of them are draggable but only one of them is actually correct into the drop zone so you only select one for the drop target the other ones could be dropped in that target but it's not going to be counted as correct now you could have multiple drop zones so if I wanted to come in here and let's say we have wanted to separate this out a little bit uh, let's go ahead and unlock the drop zone. Let's move this over a little bit more, copy and paste it. So we have two different drop zones and I can come into the form view and say, okay, drop zone one, this is going to be correct. Drop zone, the regular drop zone, that's going to be correct. So, and then you can build as many questions as you want. At the end, it will give you the results of how you did, um, but you're not restricted to just those four questions. You can have as many questions as you want, uh, whether it be multiple choice, uh, true or false, hotspot, text entry, drag and drop. Uh, and that's how flexible these Quizmaker templates are, especially the themed ones, allows you to just really go beyond um, what's capable inside of there. So it doesn't matter how many question types you have inside of, but it, it involves some um, gaming type of elements where you can see the shootout, you can see if they get the score, if they don't get the score, um, and it gives you a, a lot more uh, visual visual capabilities with your quiz questions with the uh, new eLearning Brothers Quizmaker templates in Studio 13.